Hi everyone! Today we'll cover how to add a video component into your course. Videos are one of the most popular content types used in online courses. As we've mentioned before, using a variety of content types is a great way to keep your learners engaged. The files you can store in your files and upload section are limited to 10 megabytes, which means that unlike PDFs and images, your videos cannot be uploaded into Studio. You will have to find a place to host your videos. We recommend using YouTube, Vimeo, or AWS, but other options are available. By default, the video component is made to integrate with YouTube videos, so we will use this for our example. The first thing to do is get the link for your YouTube video and copy it to your clipboard. From Studio, open your course and unit where you want to add your video. Select Video under Add New Component. By default, you should see an Open Edix video here. Click Edit to start making changes. First, we change the component title, which appears above the video in the LMS. Next, replace the video URL here with your URL from YouTube. If your YouTube video has a timed transcript, it will be automatically detected here. Select to replace the edX transcript with your YouTube transcript. You can also upload the transcript or download the transcript to edit it. If you open the advanced settings, you can decide whether or not you want to allow learners to download the video transcript, whether or not you want the transcript to be shown, and you can add transcripts in other languages. In addition to this, you may include a handout to accompany your video, which learners will be able to download. I will include an example PDF here. By default, the video is available on any application where learners can access your course. This includes our mobile app customers. Also by default, the video is not available to be downloaded by learners. To access this feature, you must include a video file URL here, which is not hosted on YouTube. This is also good practice in the case where you might have learners who cannot access YouTube. Then they will automatically see the video type that's adapted to their browser. If you only want learners to watch a part of your video, you can indicate the start and stop times here in hour, minute, second format. The final few advanced settings are for older browsers only, indicating the specific YouTube URLs for different video speeds. Now we can save our changes, publish, and view live. This is the learner view where we can see the new video component title. You can see the timer for my video is set to start at 10 seconds and end at 40. As the video plays, the transcripts are highlighted. In case you don't add transcripts, the video will expand to the width of this black box. Since I have an up-to-date browser, I can change the video speed here. I can also download the video transcripts and the video handout. And that's how to add videos to your OpenEdX course using Mookit Studio.